Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the Faculty of Computer and Mathematical Sciences or in short, FSKM. My name is No Shaira, a student of FSKM and I will be your tour guide. Please take note that this video is taken during the Conditional Movement Control Order in Selangor and UITM is practicing open distance learning. Therefore, you will not be seeing any student in the video. FSKM is located at Al Khwarizmi complex and consists of two buildings. One building is called CS1 which is where I am right now and another one is called CS2. Let's begin the tour of CS1. Ready? Let's go. Lectures are normally conducted in either one of theatres, lecture rooms or lecture halls. I am in theatre 5 known as TH5, located at the ground floor of CS1. All lecture spaces in FSKM are equipped with teaching and learning facilities such as sound systems, whiteboards and ergonomic chairs and tables. This is one of many lecture rooms in FSKM. This is Lecture Room 8 or BK8, located at first floor of CS1. Lecture rooms in FSKM vary in looks and sizes, but again, just like theatres, all lecture rooms are equipped with teaching and learning facilities such as sound systems, whiteboards, and ergonomic chairs and tables. During COVID-19 pandemic, BK8 is being used for hybrid synchronous global lectures where our esteemed professor conducts weekly lectures and discussion between students from various locations both in Malaysia and Uzbekistan. How awesome is that? Hashtag FSKM goes global. Next, on the same floor, there is one lecture hall which is as DK1. Let's check it out. This is DK1. Lectures are being conducted here. Other than lectures, many events have been conducted here. This hall can cater up to 200 students. Besides DK1 in FSKM, there are two more lecture halls that serve the same functions as DK1, which are called DK2 and DK3, located in CS2. Stepping out from DK1, nearby on the same floor, there are several computer labs. For your information, FSKM is equipped with 20 computer labs to cater teaching and learning processes. These labs are equipped with most current softwares and hardwares that allow students to learn, explore, and enhance the computing and mathematical skills. I am now inside one of the computer lab, which is called Big Data Lab. If you are into big data and anything related to it, you will love this place. It is equipped with softwares that will allow you to explore the world of data analytics, such as Cloudera Tableau, Python, and R software. There are more computer labs located on the second and third floor of FSCAM. Let's go to the next floor. We are now at Lab 11, which is also known as Security Operations Center or SOC. SOC is part of FSKM UITM Cyber Security and Digital Forensic Center, which received funding from the Ministry of Education of Malaysia. It is used to implement training and certification programs that use the Elevating IT Education Elite module. This SOC is the first SOC in public universities in Malaysia. Through the SOC, students will be exposed to hands-on monitoring, detection, and prevention of live cyber threats. If you are interested in cyber security, this is where you belong. Now, I would like to take all of you to tour the next building, which is called CS2. Let's check it out. But let's make one stop. Actually, two stops at two main offices in CS1, which are the Administration Office and Academic Affairs Office. Here are the Administration Office and Academic Affairs Office. The Dean's Office is located in the Administration Office and Deputy Deans of Academic Affairs is located in the Academic Affairs Office. These two offices are supported by management staffs who are always ready to assist you on relevant matters. As you can see here, there are plenty of seats and tables in this area. 
called Laman Najib. This is where FSKM students hang out to study and eat, basically a place to chill. UITM provides a Wi-Fi to its staff and students, so you can use the Wi-Fi on your smartphone and laptops in Laman Najib and at the entire FSKM. PowerPoint saucers are also available here, so you don't have to worry if your devices run out of batteries. Still at CS1, I am at a hall known as Dewan Al Ghazali. This hall serves many functions from meeting, seminar, students and staff events, examination hall to exercise place. I am now at CS2 and right behind me is the operation room for FSM project for hybrid topology. Some software licenses are only limited to on-campus network usage and the software requires a high-performance workstation. In order to address these issues, FSKM together with the Office of Infrastructure and Infrastructure, UITM Shah Alam has launched a pilot project for hybrid topology initiative. This is to allow students to access a virtual desktop instance running on the private cloud. All the computational processes will be done on the virtual desktop instead of students' devices. Their devices will only function as a themed client to access their virtual desktop. Thus, the student can use any devices with minimal processing capabilities to access their virtual desktop. This project is proudly developed by in-house expertise and using open source software such as a KVM hypervisor, GNU Linux, operating system Grafana, Cockpit, and Prometheus. Hashtag FSKM Homegrown. Just right opposite is UITM FSKM National Autism Resource Center or NARC. NARC functions as a one-step knowledge repository and a reference resources for research, services, training and curriculum development, consultancy and projects related to person with autism in Malaysia. NARC is the first ever resource center in Malaysia supported by the National National Autism Society of Malaysia. Fun fact, in the center between these two places, there is a beautiful green garden where you can hang out and take pictures that are Instagram worthy. The green and the natural sunlight will make your shots look beautiful that you don't need to use any filters. Next, on the same floor, let me take you to Smart Classroom. This is the Smart Classroom. Here, we use smart TV that can mirror content from lecturer's laptop or phone through mirror OP software. Each table can also control a specific TV for content discussion. You can use a round table for easier brainstorming sessions with a dedicated whiteboard. If that is not enough, you can scribble on the table too using whiteboard markers. Just next to the smart classroom is Omar Al Hayam room. This room is exclusive for postgraduate students and will defend their dissertation here. It is equipped with a smart TV and conducive presentation setup. This room, since its setup, had witnessed joyous moments when research students successfully defended their research works. Who knows? That can be you. All these rooms are located on the ground floor of CS2. On the same floor, you can find the Postgraduate Studies Office, an important office for potential and current postgraduate students and also Student Center. Again, a place for students to chill. In the Student Center and some other parts of FSKM, you can find water filters that provide clean, hot, warm and cold water. Now, let's go upstairs. On the first floor of CS2, you can find many classrooms. One of them is called Global Learning Space. This space is not only for face-to-face -face teaching and learning, but 
also online. This space is equipped with Cisco WebEx conferencing system, which allows hybrid online classes, meetings, webinars, and presentations to be held. It has awesome features like intelligent audio and video experience, comprising a powerful codec and a quad camera bar with integrated speakers and microphones. It offers sophisticated camera technologies that bring speaker tracking and auto framing capabilities. FSKM had several international online events conducted in this room successfully with audiences from all over the world. Here on the same floor are where the Office of Industrial Community and Alumni Linkages and Office of Students Affairs are located. You can find the Deputy Dean for both offices inside along with dedicated staff. On the second floor of CS2, you can find more computer labs. I am now in High Performance Computing Lab or HPC Lab. It has two servers with high-end graphic processing unit, GPU. Each computer equipped with 56-core Xeon CPU and 256 gb RAM. With its high performance specification, tasks like seismic analysis, financial analysis, genetic engineering, massively parallel jobs, and crypto analysis can be done. Next to HPC Lab is User Science and Engineering, or commonly known here as USE Lab. This lab provides space to conduct human computer interaction experiments and uses mangled software from German. I am now in a multimedia lab. Here, students can learn to use tools like Adobe Photoshop to create digital content, Flash software to create 2D animation, and basic programming to create interactive output. Adobe Premiere to produce a short video production where students learn how to edit and create documentary videos. Another amazing computer lab in FSKM is CCNA Lab. For your information, FSKM is part of Cisco Academy UITM. Therefore, this lab is equipped with Cisco routers and switches. This lab is where FSKM students have the chance to learn about computer networks hands-on. Lectures office rooms are located in both CS1 and CS2. FSKM lectures are dedicated, committed, and always strive to deliver the best knowledge and skills to FSKM students. Their expertise range from the field of information technology, information system, computer network, computer science, mathematics, science actuary, and statistics. That brings us to the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of FSKM. Thank you for watching. Do follow FSKM social media. Facebook, Faculty Science Computer and Mathematics UITM. Instagram, UITM FSKM Official. Twitter, UITM underscore FSKM.